help. I went to college. I don't have a job. I don't know what to do. So many people ask that every year, right around, you know, either when they're about to graduate or several months after they graduated or sometimes even longer years after they graduated. And I just wanted to um, encourage y'all and I wanted to share my story about finding a job after graduation. I know some people are like, well, you know, I have to find a job quick because I have student loans. I have $30,000 worth of debt. I have $40,000 worth of debt. I have $50,000 worth of debt. I have $60,000 worth of debt. And, you know, I just wanted to share my story, whether, um, you know, you're about to graduate college or you just graduated or you been you know graduated several months or a year or two years or several years and I just wanted to share some information whether you want to go to um, grad school or law school or um, you know you're trying to find your um, direction I just wanted to um, just share um, my um, experience you know finding a job then later on in this video guys I just wanted to um, go on the computer and share some opportunities with y'all um, those of y'all are like in transition, y'all can um, look at, um, I'm just going to share with y'all some stay at home opportunities with y'all. Um, this is right in front of y'all, this is just a, um, a law school um, pamphlet. Um, you know, I have some law school um, videos on here what pertains to the LSAT. I've taken the, the um, law school admissions test before. Um, I do have some other like college related, college debt related and debt in general related videos here on my channel. Go check those out. Um, also, I have a website. Um, you can check out my website. It's www.aliciaminzy.com. That's my username here on YouTube. That's um, aliciaminzy.com. But um, yeah, I just wanted to um, you know, share with y'all my, um, my story. I'm just looking down, guys, so I can collect my um, thoughts. Um, right after I graduated, um, you know, there was some, um, as far as like opportunities, there weren't many, um, you know, opportunities, um, out there. I, um, when I graduated, I remember I, um, I graduated with a communications degree and in journalism, and I had been looking for a job for four years. Yes, four years, guys. Four years, yes. Um, and I hadn't found anything. And finally, the fourth year, I um, secured a full-time job as a general assignment reporter. Before that time, though, I was um, just doing some some freelance work, um, working other jobs, you know, securing other jobs as well. And I um, encourage you, um, even though if a job is not in your field for the time being, you can work a job, whether it's a job in retail or a job with your family business if your family has a business um whatever that job may be um you know i encourage you to do that i encourage you to look at online opportunities um volunteer share like whatever your degree is in share your skills that you learned during your college time and share it with a company you can um contact companies also guys when you apply um for different jobs make sure you follow up you call and things that makes a big difference just don't wait around until someone contacts you about a job um you know follow up with them you can email them you can even send them a letter through mail or a whole package uh, whatever your skills are you can highlight your skills in that letter or package or whatever i know as a, a journalism major if you do like broadcast um submit some of the the audio tapes or the um the recording or the um video footage that you um use while in school to different news stations or even to like different um companies so that you can help them out with their um social media um and um tell them you know how um, video can help their um, business in the meantime until you find that broadcast journalism job that you want or like for me for instance um, you know I continue to write offer my writing services um, it's different um, I freelance um, until I, I secure a full-time job as a full-time general assignment reporter at a newspaper um, 
Um, engineering, engineering, you know, is a tough one. Um, you know, there's like so many, so much competition. Whether you you got your degree and a is a, it's a STEM degree or whatever, make sure you highlight your skills. Contact um, people. You know, I kept contacting people. I remember I kept looking through the newspaper like all the time for job openings, all the time. This is when people were still using newspapers to look for job openings. I remember I was about to give up. This was the fourth year, and I was like, no, I'm gonna look in the Sunday's paper. So I remember I looked in the Sunday's paper, and there was a job for a um, a um, full-time uh, general assignment report, and I submitted my resume, submitted my writing samples, I submitted I believe it was like between four or five writing samples at the time and um, I got a call back and I remember they were like oh we're only interviewing this day and I had I was working retail at the time and so I was like could y'all maybe do tomorrow because I have to work and they were like no we're only doing so I had to like uh, find somebody to work my schedule thankfully had to talk to my manager and so I did go to the interview I didn't even have a car at the time, guys. <laughs> so I t actually took a cab. It was like at least 23 miles from where from where I live to the actual place. Took a cab, and yes, the cab was expensive. It was close to $80 by the time I got there. Took the cab. I was dressed real nice. You know, did the interview. Um, I even made business cards before. I did the interview and handed them out to each person at the interview. The editor was present, the human resources editor, um, person was present, and the publisher was present. And I gave them the information and I was like, you know, and I talked and, you know, I could tell, um, you know, the editor, he, you know, was liking some of the points I was bringing up and some of the information I was talking about. And, you know, um, I didn't hear back for a little while. I waited about a week, and I called back, and and the editor told me that they hired someone else. And you know, I did a good interview, but they hired someone else. And then, don't you know, guys? A whole month later, I continued. I, at the time, I was working as a teacher assistant, and I was I had been a teacher assistant at elementary school for about a year. And about a month later, that same editor called me back and was like, "Hey, you know, um, that opening." It came back open because the person that they hired it didn't work out with them and you know was I still interested you know he would like me to join you know to be there and stuff and yeah guys so I got hired and I was so high happy I worked that job and um for those of y'all that don't that been following me for a while that been like watching my YouTube videos for a while um in some of my older older videos from years and years ago um Y'all will know that um, sometimes I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm not going to make a video for a while because of work. You know, that was what I was talking about because um, I was I worked as a reporter for almost nine years. And so I would have to cover court cases, town council meetings. I went to jury trials. Um, some of those trials lasted a long time. Um, I did school board meetings. I covered school board meetings, that sort of thing. But yeah, um, I just wanted to um, share my story with you guys. Don't give up. If you don't give up. Keep applying to jobs. Show your skills. Um, go above and beyond the requirements of like submitting your application. You know, um, you know, just keep contacting that particular place that you, you're interested in applying to. Um, like I said, go above and beyond. If you have to send extra information to show your um, skills do that show video footage or tapes or whatever show that um, volunteer at the place for a while maybe they, you know they be like oh you're doing good here you know maybe they can hire you um, look at temp places that align with the skills or whatever um, you went to school for so yeah I just wanted to encourage you guys this is an impromptu video um, I don't want to make this video too long um, but yeah, I'm about to go on the computer, guys. Show y'all on the computer right quick um, the website I was telling y'all about. Um, hold on one second, guys. Like I said, don't give up. Keep um, persevering and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so um, I'm about to go on the computer just show y'all the website about opportunities at home for the time being until you find 
full-time job. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe to my um, channel. Normally, I talk about natural hair videos, some makeup, some vegan information, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, and then I have other videos here about um, just schooling information and things but yeah i just wanted to do this impromptu video because i know some people are about to graduate college so yeah i'm on here so i'm about to go on the computer and show y'all real quick all right hang with me guys <laughs> I'm getting on the computer now. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, um, it says more than 50 work from home jobs, and this is just by um single mom's income her blog. But um, she recently got married. It was back in 2017. She remarried. She was divorced. That's why it's called single mom's income. In case y'all are like, huh? But yeah. But anyway, she has like various um talks about various job opportunities here that you can do from home um, it's legit it says 50 legit um, work from home jobs customer service we call centers um, tech support provider search engine evaluator hmm that's interesting um, data entry worker general Transcriber, transcription, document translator, and I know a lot of magazine writer. And um, actually, I used to have like the writer's market. I had, I had been getting that years and years, um, and looking at different freelance opportunities and um, submitting proposals to magazines and things like that. Letters, query letters, and that sort of thing. Freelance blogger, blogging. It's popular. Um, it says the pay usually ranges anywhere from 20 to 300 per blog post, depending on who, depending on who is who you're writing for and long detail the blog post is. But yeah, copywriter. Yeah, copywriter. Um web designer, web developer, commission based online reseller. But yeah, I know um if some of you guys are like really into debt, like more than twenty thousand dollars in student loan debt or more than thirty thousand dollars in student loan debt or forty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars or sixty thousand or seventy thousand, some a hundred thousand dollars in debt or more, um, you know, you can do this, do these things in the meantime until you get that full-time job, get the qualifications and that sort of thing. Or if you decide, hey, I want to work for myself, <laughs> um, that's good too. You know, you can start your own business and generate income as well. Um, let me see what else she has on here. Mystery. I mean, she has different blog post too about um about um work at home opportunities it's right content for content meals i did that for a while too writing for different um websites like demand studios years ago um hub pages um when sweet 101 was still active i wrote for them and ehow writers conversation program but yeah i just wanted to um share this information with you guys so yeah guys um subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed to get updates and things i'm gonna do an update video on the debt um information i shared the school college debt information i shared so yeah um make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell for updates and I also do natural hair videos and some makeup and skincare videos vegan and that sort of thing okay all right hope you have a good one talk to you later bye